Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to discussing this uh, new add-on called Global Hair. Long story short, it is a hair preset of different hairstyle, and you can almost one click and apply this hair to your own model. So let's quickly look on their Blender Market page. So you can see you have a variant hairstyle you can choose from, but uh, it didn't come with eyebrow and eyelash, just the hairs way to use it and we will discuss this later because it is the um, nice preset of a different hairstyle but uh, if you are not just using the exactly the hairstyle you, you wanted to make a little bit variant you need some experience and so we'll talk about that and also you kind of need to combine this add-on with another hair note to help it to have uh, different looks so this is my personal add-on now it's called hair lab it comes with a different hair note so you can combine both of this now it is 30 percent off and you can use this to draw like a eyelash and eyebrow and now it is becoming a add-on not longer drag from SS library so you will have a panel so you can click on and you will load the different hair notes or different hair painter uh, if you want to know more about this you can watch my previous video today we will be talking about the workflow of this global hairs and how it combined with the hair labs i will put both of the links down the description you guys can go check it out and if you like it you can just go grab it and without further ado let's jump in global here found this add-on pretty good but come with some good and bad wanted to share personal workflow for this add-on we not just going to use this add-on but also we are going to use the hair note now it's called hair lab it become a add-on that you can find a panel here no longer using the access library so we will discuss it later okay, so first of all this quick look about this global hair add-on it is a very straightforward add-on basically just template hairs and it's easy to use very quickly you can have a preset of the hairs that's the female and it is the male okay stylish and some beard it doesn't come with eyebrow and the eyelash so we can use the hair lab the hair painter to do that okay first of all these hairs i'm using this hair as a template to do some detail adjustment so we are going to try to replicate something like that this hair as the template and we just hit this load hair and right away you will see something like this come with two objects first is this like a hair cap secondly you will see these hairs as the children first thing let's put your model in the rest position hide this hair and now we try to grab this cap somewhere near the model close enough and just pick this target to this head you will find somewhere it doesn't look very nice something like this so uh, just adjust this little bit to make it don't have this uh, weird warping okay now it looks fine and let's try to see the hairs you might see some of your hair still looks not ideal so just uh, adjust this just a little now it looks good and now we can apply this string warp modifier okay so it become a actual shape turn on this hair after you turn on this second modifier on the hair the guiding hair become a hair string although we already have uh, this kind of style but uh, of course for your personal character you will want it to brush the hair a little bit and make a different hairstyle so you might think you just go to the scope mode and brush it but uh, realistically it is too heavy because this add-on give it too much of the detail it's very heavy so just turn off this first and you can brush it in this mode you can try to brush it and you can try to grow it a little bit any way you wish after you brush it you can just turn on this again now it is like a, your hairstyle and you can apply the second modifier okay now you have a actual hair 
and you might want it to if your character have different posts so let's try to go to the post mode but you will see your pair doesn't follow your character through the animation so what we are going to do is we have to make this hair cap as the children of our skeleton so let's go to the rest position again click on this tab and go to the constraint and give a children off okay and just pick the our skeleton and pick the head and hit invert okay so now we go to the post mode the hair will just follow so right now you can just hit render and you have a style image but uh, if you trying to make uh, animation or make a more detail of these hairs the following is very important we have to use uh, another note come with the hair lab to reduce the sample of this each hair because right now each hair it has ridiculous amount of the sample i'm talking about each hairs maybe have 1000 sample or 500 if we try to make some animation you will see it is super heavy to drag you see it doesn't really respond to show you what i mean i'm going to use some note come with the hill lab add-on see the sample of it but before that we have to load it in so let's go to hill lab hair note so now we loading the hair note so this is all the note it come with okay and let's go back to the hair and let's use the setup so this note it have a uh, combine with a lot of useful setting of the hair so you can just do it all at once so that's now reduced some of the hairs and now that's show point that's mean show how much sample of each string so after i turn on this you can see the sample it is crazy you see it even become a singular line if i try to show the point even smaller it's still a singular line it's not very ideal so instead of this we are going to resample turn on this resample let's use something like 30 it's more reasonable if your hair is like curly hair you might want it to have a higher sample uh, but for this 30 is good enough so now we just turn off this reduce so we can see all the hairs so now that's it's being reduced to 30 i think the hair looks exactly the same let's try to see in the render mode as long as it didn't change the hairstyle I apply this okay so now if i try to animate the model so now it's quite responsible and also now it's possible to brush okay so now it's possible that we can brush it you will have total control of your hairs now i can use the hair lab add-on note to make more detail of it maybe i wanted to make the hair more curly not as fluffy as right now there's some quick way first of all use the hair collision note and pick for the target as our human model and just turn on this warp to be okay and now you still can see some of the jaggling turn on the smooth hair maybe two and also smooth the target precision maybe two i would like to reduce some of the density so hair density before the collision so maybe to 0 0.1 use the uh, children this target and now it has children but it looks uh, very linear so let's use a clamp power to let the tips stick together okay so now it become like a string i can use a different hip style maybe use this sharp i make this like a wet hair style and uh, i can set the color of it now it comes with the default material come with the global hair add-on 
So it's this one, set hair material at the end, and just pick the material. So now I want to make a gradient color. So I have this attribute called hair factor and use the attribute and just copy this hair factor, drag the color. Now you will see the gradient color ramp. And now we have a gradient color that we can play with. Maybe let's try again on the global hair. Now let's try to uh, use like a male short hair, low the hair. Personally, I, I think the hairline, it looks not very ideal. We're missing this part. Let's just try to scope this. But now you couldn't see the hair cap very well. So let's put a displace modifier. Okay. And let's try to scope it. Now we got this such short hair once again even for such short hair the hair come with the global hair it has ridiculous amount of the samples it only need like a four sample so that's the most important thing about using global hair you have to reduce the sample applying this we can make a lot of different style just for using this short hair so well, maybe i will Try to reduce the density, children, grow, puff and pull, and we can try to pull the direction of it. Curry here before the children. Very quick, we can have some different hairstyle. A lot of style are pretty good out of the box, but I think for your personal character. Of course, you wanted to make some detail adjustment. So I have made an update for the new hair note and hair painter. Now it's called Hair Lab. Uh, it is an add-on, no longer using the SS library. So after you install it, you can see this hair note or hair painter, hair cut maker. Of course, you can just uh, hit this to load the hair note. And now we are going to use the hair painter's eyelash first. So after you click on this and you will see this object or eyelash, pick this curve to pick your model and also the second one on the hair to pick up your model. Okay, and now you just try to draw some eyelash. So go to the edit mode and draw. Be sure you are on the surface. From in to out, from top to the bottom. Right away, we have eyelash, and there's a lot of detail that you can control, the tilting. And now let's try to do the eyebrow. So pick on the eyebrow, let's do that again. Pick on the root object, and also this one to pick on the root object. Let's draw the eyebrow, pick on the curve, and just draw. So you only need two curve. First is the outline, and the second one is the the peak of your eyebrow. And now you can just uh, turn on this uh, proportion. And again, it comes with a lot of detail that you can control. So both of these, the link will be in the description. Right now, they all have a 30% of the discount. I hope you can just go grab it and have fun with using it. So I'll be seeing you in the future video. See you, bye bye.